Hello, good morning, I hope you are fine. It's Friday, so I'm more or less in a relaxed mood today. Child of God, all of this week we've been talking about how God manifests himself in different ways. We have seen God manifest himself when his disciples were in peril in the sea. We have seen God manifest himself by his word. We have seen God manifest himself by healings and so many other ways. He has multiplied five loaves and two fish for more than 5,000 people. And today the Lord wants to show us that he is particularly present to us in his healing. Many of us are sick in the world. Many people are sick of different things, of mental illnesses, of physical illnesses. And God wants to reassure us that he will heal us. Matthew, in today's gospel reading, which is taken from Matthew chapter from Luke chapter 5, sorry, from verses 12 to 16, um, Luke tells us that there was a man who had leprosy who came to Jesus to be healed. Now, Jesus heals him and sends him back to the priest and tells him to go and show himself to the priest so as to get the certificate of healing. Now, there, there are a few things I want to show to you in this episode, what happens here. The, the first thing I'd like to show to you is that this man got rid of other people's opinions. Child of God, if you want to go far in life, you're going to have to make up your mind about your own way, about your, the, the path that you want to follow. You cannot follow people. You cannot follow, especially people who are going nowhere and expect to arrive at the place you want to get to. This man lived in a cultural context where everyone said that leprosy was the result of sin. And so anyone who had leprosy had to isolate himself away from the other people. But this man refused that um, idea and he came to Jesus. You too would have to reject some kind of manipulation, indoctrination. I don't know what else. People are trying to push down your mental throat today. You have to be able to reject those and seek God for yourself. Seek the word of God by yourself. Read the Bible by yourself. Stop saying this pastor said, that priest said, this person said. Because they said it doesn't mean it is true. Remember, it was, it was this, the, the rabbis who, who taught the people that every kind of leprosy was a punishment from God. God was grounding you because you had sinned. The child of God, it turned out that that teaching was false. So the message there is that like this leper, you have to seek the Lord yourself. You have to look at the word of God yourself. You have to learn to analyze and interpret the word of God for yourself. Because God wants to have a personal relationship with you. The second thing I like to show there is that once the, once the man had gotten to Jesus, he prostrates. The Bible says that he laid down in front of Jesus, which was a gesture of worship. When you come to God, you cannot come to God with all of your pride. You have to come to God in humility. Prostrating before God is realizing who he is, realizing his might and his power. And that is exactly how we should come to God. Come to him, not feeling that we are all that, but come to him in humility, knowing that we depend entirely on him for what we want him to do for us. And now the third and final thing I'd like to show to you is that this man asks Jesus Lord, I know that if you want to, you can purify me, you can heal me, and the translation says. Child of God, what this means is that God will never force himself on you. God will never come to you and force you to get well. It has to be you who has to come to the Lord, prostrate yourself before the Lord, and ask him for his healing. Many of us have asked God for healing in the past, and we have stopped asking. The Bible says that he, the literal translation would be he kept asking, he kept saying, Lord, if you want to, you can heal me. Child of God, don't stop, don't ever stop praying for what you have asked God for. The first time you said it, he heard you, but he wants to be sure that you really want that healing because that healing is going to bring about new possibilities in your life and he's waiting to be sure that you are willing to handle those possibilities. So today, take it as an opportunity, as an invitation in fact, to get rid of those ideas that said you can't be healed, those ideas that say that it's because of your sin that God is punishing you, those ideas that say that God cannot heal you. Get rid of those ideas like this man did. Go to God, prostrate yourself before him in prayer and be audacious in your asking, knowing that God can do all things. And never give up asking. Keep asking until the Lord says to you, get up, you are healed. And remember to go and give thanks once you have been healed. That's what exactly this man went to do. He went to make the required sacrifice of thanksgiving. So as you go about your day today, remember that one of the areas where God manifests himself is in his healing and he can heal you today no matter what it is that is plaguing you. May the mighty God bless you and heal you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.